Welcome back to our two-part series on becoming a more sophisticated AI user. If you caught part one, you know we're on a mission to transform ChatGPT from a fancy magic eight ball into something that actually earns its keep. Now, last time we tackled the flip and discover for breaking out of metal ruts and the learning loop for turning one piece of content into six different tools. Good stuff. But today, today we're graduating to techniques that separate the casual AI users from people who actually get things done. Here's something I've learned after many years. The difference between a good idea and a working solution usually comes down to three things. Testing your assumptions, planning before you build, and having a reliable process you can repeat. And that is exactly what these three techniques deliver. So we're covering the decision confidence builder first. Ever make a plan that looked brilliant on Sunday but uh, fell apart by Wednesday? This technique turns AI into a panel of skeptics who poke holes into your ideas before reality does. The idea builder. For bigger projects like planning workshops, organizing trips, or mapping out health routines, you need to see the blueprint before anyone starts building. This method keeps you in the driver's seat while AI does the heavy lifting. The prompt recipe maker. Tired of playing prompt roulette, hoping the next try it'll finally give you what you need? Well, this technique reverse engineers your perfect result so you get it right the first time, every time. No matter your background, whether you're planning your retirement, organizing a community event, or just trying to make sense of your doctor's latest advice, these techniques will save you time, prevent frustration, and turn your AI conversations into genuine productivity multipliers. So let's tackle the Decision Confidence Builder, also known as the Red Team Thinking or Red Team Technique. In my nearly eight decades of living, I've learned that the best decisions happen when you've looked at them from every angle, especially the uncomfortable ones. That's where the Decision Confidence Builder shines. This technique transforms AI from a helpful assistant into a constructive challenger uncovering weak spots, risks, and blind spots before they become problems. Let me show you how this works with something that I have behind me, but many of you still face, planning for retirement. I'll start by asking, create a weekly schedule for my first year of retirement that balances relaxation, hobbies, volunteering, and staying active. Include realistic time estimates, possible community activities, and budget-friendly hobbies. All right, well, this first version certainly is impressive. It looks pretty good on paper. Yoga on Mondays, uh, volunteering on Tuesdays, book club on Thursdays. <laughs> I'm practically living my best life already, at least in theory. Now, let's pressure test it. Let's ask AI to switch roles and look at this plan through more critical eyes. So. My prompt? Now switch perspectives. Act as a time management coach who thinks my plan is overly ambitious. Identify what parts are unrealistic or likely to fail after a few weeks. Point out where I might lose motivation or run into conflict. Hey, I now plays the critic. She's staring into it like it was a threat to my mental health. And it probably is, by the way. The plan chat GPT suggested reeks of work, leads to overcommitment, is susceptible to a midweek energy crash, and exacerbates my ADD with its scattered focus. On top of all of that, it costs presumably more than I can afford on my fixed income. Now that time management review was helpful and it brought up a major concern, money. Even the best laid plans fall apart if they don't line up with real world budgets. I think I should phone a friend to get help on that angle. Now, act as a financial advisor reviewing the same plan. You're skeptical about unnecessary spending or underestimating costs. Identify hidden expenses, risky assumptions, and ways to make the plan more sustainable. Well, the UI cross-examines the plan financially. It identifies hidden costs I might have overlooked, like transportation to volunteer sites, supplies for hobbies, <laughs> membership fees, heck, even that budget-friendly pottery class still costs $75 worth of clay and tools. Suddenly, my retirement financial plan is looking like Swiss cheese. 
I'm going to need either a cash forecaster or an illegal money printer to make this work. Now, we've seen two different perspectives, one focused on time and motivation, the other on money and sustainability. But the real power comes when we bring these insights together. So I'm going to prompt ChatGBT, now combine both critiques from the time coach and the financial advisors into an improved version of my plan. Show me what has changed and explain how these adjustments make it more realistic, affordable, and sustainable. Now this just makes sense. A balanced and sustainable weekly plan is a more resilient, confidence-building retirement plan. I love that it just breaks everything down into five focus areas I need to pay attention to. Three to four physical activities per week. I think I can survive on that if one of them is golf. And uh, one volunteer, two hobby sessions, a couple of social interactions. This is reasonable. It's still inspiring, but it's now tested more against reality. It's not about killing my dreams. I'm loving it. So when can you use this decision confidence builder? Well, this technique works for all kinds of decisions. You can ask AI to play family doctor for a health plan. Turn it into a travel insurance agent for trip planning. Make it a skeptical accountant for budgeting or have it act as an adult child or a realtor when you're thinking about downsizing. Each new perspective helps you spot blind spots before you're committed. So let's recap. The main goal of this technique is to strengthen decision-making by testing ideas from multiple angles before acting. You start with a strong neutral prompt asking for a plan. Then you give AI a new role coach, advisor, skeptical friend, whatever, and ask it to critique your idea. Assign a second or third or fourth a contrasting role to reveal different blind spots from their perspective. Then you ask AI to merge all perspectives into one improved realistic plan. Now, before we move on to our next technique, let me ask you something. If you're finding these prompting methods useful, do us a solid and hit that like button and subscribe. Drop us a comment letting us know what decision you'd like to stress test using this decision confidence builder prompting technique. Your ideas often spark our next videos, and we love seeing how this community puts our tools to work. All right, let's keep moving. Next up, idea builder, or blueprint scaffolding technique. Ever asked ChatGPT to plan something and got back a response so complete, so polished, and so generic? that you wondered if it was actually meant for someone else? That's because we usually hand over all the decision-making to the AI in one shot. The idea builder technique flips that script. Instead of letting ChatGBT deliver a finished product you had no say in creating, you ask it to show you the blueprint first. You can think of this like reviewing the architect's plan before they start building your house. You get to see the structure, trim the excess using the 80-20 rule, and approve only what matters. And then you let AI build the final version. So let's walk through an example together. Imagine a senior who's active in their community, maybe part of a club or a church group, and wants to organize a health and wellness event on brain fitness for aging well. I'll show you how to use Idea Builder to make that happen. We start with a simple prompt as usual. Help me plan a wellness workshop for seniors about keeping your brain healthy. That's it. Short, direct, and deliberately vague. I wasn't giving it much yet, and that was intentional. So Jack GPT delivered a response with plenty of good ideas, but they were scattered everywhere with no clear structure or logical flow. It was hard to know where to start or how the pieces fit together. This is where things get interesting. Instead of accepting that scattered response, I take a step back. Before writing the workshop plan, first outline the standard sections that belong in a professional event plan or workshop proposal. Give me a one-sentence description for each section. I'm not asking it to build anything yet. I'm asking it to show me the structure it would normally use without actually doing it. And this is useful. ChatGPT gives me 14 sections everything from title and overview to contact information. Each one gets a clean one-sentence description. 
Here's objectives or goals. Specific, measurable outcomes the workshop aims to achieve for participants or the organization. Clear and straightforward. Now we can see what ChatGPT thinks a complete workshop plan should include. And honestly, 14 sections feels like overkill for a simple community event. But at least now we haven't wasted time by building the whole darn thing. Time to get ruthless. I'm going to ask it to apply the 80-20 rule and identify only the essential sections needed for a short community-level workshop that I could actually organize myself. Focus on what will make the event successful with minimal stress. Really, I am telling ChatGPT to be practical. I didn't want the Taj Mahal. <laughs> I want something I could build myself, more like a treehouse. ChatGPT cut the sections down to just the essentials. Workshop overview, objectives, agenda, materials and setup, facilitator notes, participant experience, follow-up. Budget and marketing became additional add-ons. This is the 80-20 rule in action. 20% of the sections will drive 80% of your success. Now we've got your streamlined blueprint. Time to build something real. And here's that prompt. Now use that 80-20 blueprint to write a complete event plan for a 90-minute Brain Fitness for Aging Well workshop. Include a short welcome message, a three-part agenda, and simple outreach ideas suitable for seniors. We're giving it specific instructions based on the blueprint that we approved. This is completely different from that first overwhelming response because now we're in the driver's seat. ChatGPT delivers a detailed, structured, and ready-to-use workshop plan. Targeted, realistic, and engaging. The key differences? This was built entirely from the AI's own scaffolded reasoning that I had guided step by step. The agenda's clean, welcome and warm up, brain fitness basics and practice, then call and reflect. I can follow that without a PhD in event planning. This time, ChatGPT gave us exactly what we asked for. So whatever the goal, Idea Builder helps you start with a clear plan and finish with confidence. Here's a quick review of the steps. Your goal, have the AI reveal its plan or outline before it writes the full content. Start with a simple request or a general idea. Ask the AI to outline sections or components the plan should include. Refine the outline. I recommend using that 80-20 rule to keep only essential components. Approve the final blueprint, and then instruct the AI to build the full content from that outline. Request a reusable template so the same structure can be used for future topic. And that will get us into the next topic, the prompt recipe maker, also known as the meta prompting technique. Here's the golden rule in prompting. ChatGPT is an expert at prompt engineering. Once you have a series of prompts that work for you, like the ones we've shown you in this video, you have the desired structure, the right level of detail, the actionable insights. The prompt recipe maker technique turns your successful conversation into a reusable recipe. You start with a topic. You refine the response through a few iterations until it's perfect, just like we showed you. Then ask ChatGPT to reverse engineer the entire conversation into one master prompt. Think of it like perfecting grandma's secret recipe, then writing it down so you can make it perfectly every single time. The result? A single prompt that captures all of your refinements and delivers polished results instantly for any similar situation. So for this challenging task, we turn on thinking mode in ChatGPT. We want a comprehensive and detailed report. I'm going to start the process with a simple request. Analyze the topic of heart health in older adults and walk me through the factors that influence it. So I'm not asking for a bullet points or a summary. I'm asking it to walk me through the factors. Now, ChatGBT leverages that thinking mode and racks its electronic brain. I ask for a report and it gives me an encyclopedia. It details everything from heart aging to the factors I can't control, thanks genetics, <laughs> and the ones I should, mm, diet, exercise, cholesterol. It connects the dots between sleep, stress, environment, and medications perfectly. 
It's incredibly scientifically sound, but let's be honest. Seeing frailty analyzed across endless pages is enough to raise anyone's blood pressure. At the very least, it's completely overwhelming. I'm going to request a more structured format to get me exactly the information I want. So I prompt it to restructure this information into a detailed health insight report using the format key challenges, current research findings, lifestyle recommendations, common myths or misunderstandings. And give me three bullet points under each section using clear, simple language. Now the AI creates an organized, easy to read report that organizes the answer into four sections, just like I asked for. And under each heading, it offers exactly three bullets in plain, accessible language. Now it's too concise. <laughs> I'm shooting for something in between. So I'm going to ask it, flesh out each bullet point with a short explanation, two to three sentences, and add a subheading under each section called Our Action Plan. Uh, under that, suggest one concrete, evidence-based action older adults can take related to that section. Keep it realistic and encouraging. The AI transforms the summary into a report that focuses on behavior, not just biology. It connects the dots between knowledge and a concrete action plan for each section. Crucially, it asks for just one realistic step at a time, keeping the tone encouraging rather than guilt-inducing. It's a fantastic template we can recycle for other fun topics like bone density or cognition. Lest we forget, and let's be honest, at my age, forgetting is a given, a single prompt was our goal from the start. So, I'm going to ask ChatGBT to create a master recipe, meaning a standardized, comprehensive prompt structure. Reverse engineer our conversation and write the single complete prompt that produces an insight report on any topic directly. ChatGPT is thinking hard about this one, but it is well worth the wait. What we get is a totally reusable prompt that we can save somewhere easy to find, hope. This reusable prompt is worth gold if I ever want to deep dive into any other topic in the future. All you have to do is copy and paste the prompt, replace that insert topic variable with your topic of choice. I'll leave that as an assignment for you. Now, we'd appreciate it if you could then post your topic in the comment section of this video and let us know what you thought of ChatGPT's response. And while you're there, you could also hit those like and subscribe buttons as well. So here's a quick review of the steps for the prompt recipe maker. Your goal is to build a reusable master prompt. You begin with a broad topic and then ask for a detailed overview. Don't forget to use that deep thinking mode, by the way. Refine it into an organized format with headings and bullet points. Then ask it to expand the bullets with explanations and create an action plan under each section. When the structure looks right, ask the AI for a single master prompt that recreates the entire formatted report for any topic. So there you have it, five techniques to transform your workflow. From the previous video, you have that flip and discover and the learning loop. And today, we added the decision confidence builder, the idea builder, and that master key, the prompt recipe maker. These tools put you in control. So here's my challenge to you. Pick one, just one. Try it this week on something small. Remember, at 79, I am proof that you can teach an old dog new tricks, even if it takes me a few times to do it right. And do me a favor, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Also, drop a comment below telling me which tool you picked. I want to see if you're actually doing your homework. Angela is hard working on the next video, so we will see you again very soon.